Because you see, it's all about this base, about this base. Nobody's healed. This hospital's a waste of space, worse than the battlefield. It's all about this nurse, made it less worse, so we all hail the lady with the lamp. Me, Florence Nightingale. Don't like red painted walls. That's blood, Mom. Ooh, uh, probably doesn't help. You've built this on a sewer. Those rations good at killing Amen in Crimea, but not half as good as this place. Central Station Diarrhea. First I brought in some towels, so when emptying their bowels, then at least their bodies were clean. Yes, it's fine. Let them get off their backs, offering tasty fresh snacks in the hospital canteen. Yummy, yummy. Take one look at the squalor and cases of cholera, the sores and dysentery. Holy time. And then here's the surprise for the stolen supplies back with my own money. Because you see, it's all about this base, about this base. Don't get annoyed. I'll get a brand new pillowcase, clear all trace of typhoid. It's all about this nurse, fortunes reverse. At the double, helping soldiers feel less worse. Don't need a hearse. No trouble. Took my light round at night, check the men were. Beheaded survived. I'm Henry the Eighth. I had six sorry wives. Some might say I ruined their lives. <clears throat> Catherine of Aragon was one. She failed to give me a son. I had to ask her for a divorce. That broke up her heart, of course. Young Anne Boleyn, she was two. Had a daughter, the best she could do. I said she flirted with some other man and offered the chop. Went, dear Anne. Lovely Jane Seymour was three, the love of a lifetime for me. She gave me a son, little Prince Ed. Then poor old Jane went and dropped dead. Divorced, beheaded, and died. Divorced, beheaded, survived. I'm Henry the Eighth. I had six sorry wives. Some might say I ruined their lives. Anne of Cleves came at four. I fell for the portrait I saw, then laid eyes on her face and cried, She's a horse! I must have another divorce. Catherine Howard was five, a child of nineteen, so alive. She flirted with others, no way to behave. The axe sent young Kath to her grave. Catherine Pa, she was last. By then all my best days were past. I lay on my deathbed, age just 55. Lucky Catherine the last stayed alive. I mean, how unfair. Ugh. Divorce, beheaded, and died. Divorce, beheaded, survived. I'm Henry the Eighth. I had six sorry wives. You could say I ruined their lives. <laughs> my name is Chin Shu Wei. Found at the Imperial State. China to you mate Yeah yeah Seven regions had ruled so long Three dynasties are nasty seven Pouring factions need stamina With my army just one winner Do you see me? Do you think I'm pretty? Good at defeating rival tribes And I say yes with a mighty chin Oh I think I am first ever Chinese leader Country has found itself a Tokiza such a family succeeder I'm the greatest leader All agreed yeah. First I came for unity So long as you agree with me More bureaucracy Oh yeah Ordered writing currency Wait, build first wallet China Great, Confucius bad Too Confucian, both not the learning but burning With no way out Arctic Explorer Peter Freiken Will take human ingenuity to the limit and beyond. If I could just squeeze out a pool, 
I could make a frozen chisel and dig my way to freedom. It's a true story. It's a cool story. It will warm your heart and open your bottom. The frozen Frightman. Factory labeling jars quite dull all told Goodness only knows I was a miserable soul For a time I went to school But then I found a job As a clerk to a lawyer Oh, it made my poor head throb I failed to be an actor Despite my loud cough Ended up reporting speeches of the parliamentary mob Then as everybody knows I started writing prose Put my life into my books Friends and enemies and crooks Legal bosses up the crop In the old curiosity shop Faking in Oliver Twist A factory pal you get the gist And although my memory is quite foggy Got Scrooge from the grave of Ebenezer Scrooge. My first book was an overnight sensation, but I drove myself too hard to enjoy the adulation. Despite my wealth, my family begged for money. I wrote of it in Chuzzlewit, which people said was funny. Didn't sell like books before, my family still asked for more. Little dog, it is a tale about my dad in debtor's jail. While Hard Times tells my life about when I tried to leave my wife. Little Nell's death was my poor dear departed sister-in-law. And David Copperfield working in a factory. I must confess that that was really me. In my life felt shame about poverty in childhood. Wrote about sadness, suffering and fears. Also wrote about people with funny names. Bumble, small wheat, Scrooge, Uriah Heap and Whackford Square. Whilst writing Edwin Drew, the train crash didn't help my mood. Still I drove myself on with readings far across the pond. Died before I wrote Drew's end, sort of thing drove me round the bend. So Dickens, take a Dickens, take a bow. And heaven knows I'm miserable now. Bring out your dead! Bring out your dead! Here, will you take my Bert, will ya? Plague, was it? Yeah, you will give him a proper burial, won't ya? Of course I will. I'll chuck him in a pit with all the others. Oh, good, yeah, it's what he would have wanted. He's worrying, though, isn't it, this plague thing, you know? I mean, where's he come from? Well, I'm glad you asked me that. It starts with a little flea that jumps upon a rat. It bites the rat and gives it germs, and for the rat, that's that. <clears throat> Then the flea, it looks for somewhere else to find its food. 
it hops on you and me and starts to suck our blood. First, you feel a little poorly and then you start to swell. Then you start to spit some blood and then you really smell. Then you know it's time to ring your funeral bell. Along comes Mr. Death and swishes you to hell. Gone. There's lots of cures to help you if you have the cash. Kill the village cats and dogs and burn them all to ash. Sit down in a sewer so the smell drives. Plague away. Place chicken bottoms on your spots. Then you'll be okay. First, you feel a little poorly and then you start to swell. Then you start to spit some blood and then you really smell. Then you know it's time to ring your funeral bell. Along comes Mr. Death and swishes you to hell. Play kills little children even more than mums or dads. A priest said it's because the wicked kids have acted bad. Half the people on the earth are simply blown away. So for Mr. Death, these will be really busy days. First, you feel a little boy and then you start to swell. Then you start to speak some blood and then you really smell. Then you know it's time to ring your funeral bell. Along comes Mr. Death. Bring out your dead! Yo, word up, brothers and sisters of Rome. Got a message from your own Macca Saint Jerome. I'm saying Rome's been Christian since the fourth century. And taking a bath, that's just so BC. Look at me, I'm a posse of Rome and Bellas. This is Leah, this is Paula, and this is Marcella. When I met him, they was real proper Roman wax. Now they stick to high heaven and they're wearing rags. It don't matter if your body smells like something obscene. If the outside is dirty, then the inside is clean. That's great. Lovely, there ain't no denying And I guess no washing does increase your danger of dying They've got saunas and steam rooms, they're healthy and strong But we've got something better bro And that's a punk crime no crime Sophisticated, tough and terrifying. We've descended from the Vikings. So is it any wonder we have a natural flair for fighting? Norman's over here. And you English counterpart. Norman's over here. Ah, oh, that's cute. You try to fight us. Norman's over here. We set the north on fire. Norman's over here. A Saxon life. Au revoir. We build castles. We love horses. Our cavalry. Hey. All on his feet. We're great fighters, you can hire us, but you won't like us, no. and we don't care. No. We've got that hair called off the chainmail that we wear. This is Norman style. Jump, 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 jump. Riding Norman style. Jump, 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 jump. Hair called Norman style. Jump, 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 jump. Hands off Norman style. Jump, jump. This is Norman style. I'm William the Conqueror, the greatest Norman ever. Got delayed in raiding England because of the bad weather. Then chopped up your King Harold and left his mummy crying. What do you expect, man? I'm practically a Viking. England's rightful heir. So signed Edward the Confessor. England's rightful heir. Forget Harold the usurper. England's rightful heir. These Normans gonna rule ya. England's rightful heir. Surrender or I'll kill ya! We build castles, we love horses, our cavalry, hey. all on his fear. Hey. We're great fighters, you can hire us, but you won't like us, no. and we don't care. No. We've got that hair called off the chainmail that we wear. This 
is Norman style. Hey, Saxon ladies, chop, 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 chop. Here comes Norman style. Hey, Saxon prisoners, chop, 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 chop. Hands off, Norman style. Hey, check our horses, chop, 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 chop. Riding Norman style. Hey, Norman style. It's the one emperor of the French, king of Italy, called Prince of Andorra. You guessed it, it's me, Napoleon Bonaparte. Ugh. Hello Paris, the burst through the door, now everybody lift your jaws off the floor. You act like you never seen your emperor before, it's Napoleon and I'm back for more. I've just escaped from exile on Elba, where they call me the cage monster. They say I'm short and I got the lands, but check out my massive battle plan. Yes, we got to go to war one more time against two, everybody, but don't worry, we'll be fine. Just fighting to get back what's rightfully mine, which is everything I conquered the first time. King Louis, whatever, he ain't got nothing on me. The greatest Frenchman ever. Come to war with me. French people, my subject. I brought you success. Women used to make me nervous, but in battle, I'm the best. I didn't come to party. I came to get nasty. Just got to win at Waterloo, then I'll get back to ruling you. You see, I'm cocky. Maybe I am. It's not my fault, it's my pituitary gland. Or maybe my ego, but I tell you what is true. I'm a military genius and my army love me too. Can barely ride a horse, but not for want of trying. I'd say it's not my sore bum, but I would be lying. So is the British and the Dutch. Oh, and the Prussian army, but that's okay. The Prussian leaders bar me. I'm pregnant with an elephant, do you know what I mean? But I really need to win before they get on the scene. Can't pray for rain to stop, don't believe in God. If it carries on much longer, we'll be stuck in the mud. I got a hundred days, and I'm back up in this. We're outnumbered, yes, but we can win this. Sure, I'm a little fat. And it hurts when I pee. But don't worry about that. I'll lead you to victory, baby.
show is about to get real. Rogers in the house. Drop a beat. You can come across and I'm straight out of jail. I scribble down my face so that I can post bail. I wrote 30 plays, I'm a lyrical savior. Yep, sense of prison from a lewd behavior. Christopher Marlowe, street name. Kit, deep time in Holland, cause my cash was going out of fit. Mention I'm a spy and you're going to get hit. Obviously I can't talk about that bit. Polish tribes, especially since they take my bribes. Cause Al Capone gonna sell it to ya. Downtown punk gonna flog it to ya. Gangsta Al gonna flog you too. Saturday night and daytime too. Like to buy a nice watch? Huh? Downtown Fred, that's me. And my debt you'll be. Downtown Fred, that's me. And my debt you'll be. The law didn't last cause the government lost their butt. They drowned in drink. But I kept my head, sold milk instead. Full throttle kept me in the pink. So did I, and my desire was to force them to put on a sell-by date or my friends would help them expire. Tough guy score on my face, sent to jail on an income tax case, and history secures my final place as the man who brought you the sell-by date? Can't believe it's gone off. <laughs> I, Edward Jenner, and I was told Mates who got cowpox once never had another episode so I, I inject the James Fitz with a strain. He didn't catch smallpox. He was as right as rain. I gave him an occupation. Despite some protestation, was the first vaccination. Led to his rehabilitation. Vaccinate against all disease. So I injected cholera into my head. Turns out I was right, it lived to lay eggs again. I gave him immunization, it was a made up inoculation. Wait, wait. 
Hitler My name is Douglas Bader, let me tell of my ordeal Lost both legs in an accident, these ones are not real, not real. I left the Air Force after that, flying was a hobby But when war broke in 39, came back Just like Robbie Shot down 22 of them, led the air attack Till finally the Luftwaffe hit me back Oh no, pretty baby His plane on fire Stuck in cold, it's such a shame to retire Yeah, yeah, yeah Never forget this great man's story Lucky to survive five missions Not that I'm complaining But I've had just ten hours training Epic dogfights in the sky Outnumbered, that's why We're now known by you As the few Few? He missed me The Battle of Britain was our pilot's finest hour Although it seemed at first The Germans were the stronger power oh, so strong. We mustered all our courage In summer 1940 Sortie after sortie Saw Nazi invasion of just as him should Heard our bravery meant Hitler wouldn't be back for good No, no We beat the Fuhrer Without us frequent flyers your life would be poorer Yeah, yeah Britain secure Our story of heroics will forever endure well, yeah. My name is My name is my name is Charles II. I love the people and the people love me so much that they restored the English monarchy. I'm part Scottish, French, Italian, a little bit Dane, but 100% party animal. Champagne! Spaniels I adored, named after me too. Like me, they were fun with the natty, natty hair too. It's today my birthday, I can't recall. Let's have a party anyway, because I, I love, love a mask ball. All hail the king of Britain. Let's sing, bells ring. Ding, ding. I'm the king who brought back partying. King Charles, my daddy, lost his throne and kings were banned. They chopped off his head, then Ollie Cromwell ruled the land. Old Ollie wasn't jolly, he was glum and he was proud. Would be miserable as sin, only seeing's not allowed. When Ollie died, the people said, Charlie, me hearty. Get rid of his dull laws, come back, we'd rather party. This action's what they called the monarchy restoration, which naturally was followed by a huge celebration. For the king of England, no sin. To sing okay. or anything All say I'm the king who brought back partying Great London fire was a whopper In my reign London city came a cropper So this king did what was right and proper But the fire proved I'm more than a bopper I'm a fire stopper Married Catherine Bracken saw she was a love so true There would never be another, well maybe one, one or two Lucy Walter, Nell Gwynn, Mol Davis, Bob Revillius You think that's bad but her name's not as silly as as king, I must admit, I broke the wedding rules. But who cares when I brought back the crown jewels? I reinstated Christmas, make up sport and even plays. I was the merry monarch, they were good old days. When said and done, King Charles me. did run England for fun. I was the king, loved by everyone, my song is done. Party, anyone?